now that we know about the different states of matter and how to conduct experiments, let's look at the different types of changes that occur in chemistry, and in everyday life for that matter. There are two, physical change and chemical change. Let's look at physical change for now. A physical change means that molecules are rearranged but their internal structure is still the same. Here are some things to remember about a physical change. No new substance is formed. The change can be reversed, and the matter can be used to make or decompose mixtures. Let's look at some examples of physical change. There are changes between states of matter, like freezing, boiling, condensation, or melting. So whether you freeze or boil water, the molecules are still water molecules. Even sublimation and deposition are physical changes. Another type of physical change is grinding or cutting. They are still the same matter, but only look different. Whipping egg whites or cream is another example of physical change. Even though it looks different because of the air that has been forced into it, it is still the same molecules. Even when you mix sugar in water, you have sugar molecules floating around in water molecules. And if the water evaporated, the sugar crystals would remain. So the reaction is still reversible. Making magnets is another kind of physical change. When a compass needle is made, the iron atoms are realigned, but the atoms remain the same. In summary, physical changes rearrange molecules but do not affect their internal structures. The matter is still the same after the change has happened, except that it looks different, or behaves slightly differently. But the important thing is that physical change can be reversed. Remember these points, as it will tell you whether it was a physical change that occurred. If these points don't match your findings, then it is possible that a chemical change has taken place. We will look at that in the next lesson.